Hi guys, in this video, let's talk about the math library that is present in C++. Okay, so uh, this C++ math library is very similar to the uh, programming language C's math library. It is very easy to use and it can be accessed using this file cmath. So we have to include this file to use all the functions that are uh, math functions that are in this uh, file. Okay, so let me tell you some very basic and most used functions that we use. Uh, we have a function max that gives max among two elements. Like if we write max a comma b, it gives maximum of these two. And if we want to find maximum of more than two elements, we can write it like this max. And then inside uh, we can write like a, b, c, d, and this goes like this. So this way we can get the maximum of a, b, c, d, all of all four of them, right? Similarly, we also have min. So for min also, we can write like this a comma b comma c and these are all variables and we'll print the minimum of all these three. Okay. So these are two uh, most uh, most used function max and min and we also have sqrt function that as name suggests, it finds the square root. Okay. And then we also have pow function that takes a comma n and it finds out the value of a raised to n. Okay. It finds the value of this. Okay. And we also have trigonometry functions like a uh, sine and cos that takes value in uh, radians that takes value in radians and returns the sine on and cos value and all the trigonometry functions. Okay. We can similarly find tan also, and then we can use all these three values to find the value of all this reciprocals rest of the three. Okay. So these are some functions that we use. We also use functions like floor that finds the integer just less than the floating point number that is inside this. Okay. Less than or equal to. And we also have seal that, uh, that finds the integer that is just greater than or equal to the number, the floating point number that is inside this. Okay. So these are all sim very similar to the programming language C's math library. And this has all these functions and use similar to that. Okay. Now let's look at some examples and understand how it is actually implemented. So let's see some working examples on the explanation that we did. Okay, so here uh, this little snippet code is uh, telling the maximum of A, B, C. Remember that we are including these three uh, just to make sure that we can use the max function and uh, the initializer list that we are using. All right. So to use this way of finding more a maximum of more than one, uh, remember you should include initializer list. All right. So you see we are having A, B and C uh, respectively minus one, 13 and 10. And we are trying to find max. And you see we are putting all these three values and finding the max. Let's see what's the output will be. As you can see that we get the output as 13. All right. So that means we get the maximum as 13. All right. So if we do minimum, it will work the same way. Now let's try to do something. Let's try to find the seal of B divided by C. All right. So we are going to find the seal value, seal value of uh, B divided by C. Let's include the package as I told. So that would be include C math. All right. So after including C math, uh, what we are going to do, we are simply going to find the seal. All right. So uh, it should be 13 by 10 should be 1.3 and uh, the seal of that would should be two, right? So let's see what output do we get. As you can see, we are not getting two. We are getting the output as one. All right. Why is this happening? This is happening because uh, this B by C is automatically getting converted to integer and we are getting 13 by 10 as one and seal of one we are getting as one only. All right. So what we can do, we can either uh, explicitly convert them into float or double types, but there is a better alternative of finding the seal. What we can do is we can simply comment this out and try to write a new line int m equals b plus c minus one and then divide it by c. All right. So what this will do, this will find the seal and convert it to the integer value. All right. So this or this will automatically be converted to integer and we do not require to use the seal function that may not work well in the case of integers. So instead of using seal function, it is advised to use this technique to find the seal value. Then now let's see what we'll get as the function. You see, now we get the correct output as two because uh, we are now working with uh, integers and with integers seal can behave in a funny way. So we do we avoid using seal and uh, avoid using converting explicitly. We use B plus C minus one divided by C to directly get the seal value without use of the seal function. All right. And rest functions, SQRT, POW, rest all functions work, work as explained in, earlier in the video. So this was something extra that you could learn. All right. So that's it for math library. See you in the next one.